guys, it's Silver Does Legit here. Uh, so this is the first time that I'm actually prefacing a video with a vlog. Uh, it's a little bit weird. My lighting isn't really all that great. Um, it's it's awkward. I've got I've got my room over here uh, behind me there there. Uh, I've got my Minecraft calendar and my closet door, and uh, in front of me I have a direct look at the window. Uh, and my d incredibly messy room all over there. So uh, I will choose a different recording location. Right now I'm literally sitting right here. Actually, I'll show you. Uh, I've got a TV tray that I'm I'm set up on here with a pillowcase on it. It's pretty uh pretty legitly um ghetto going on here. So I will have a little bit of a better setup. Uh, but this is my official face reveal. Uh, I know it's like really early for my YouTube face reveal, uh, but I on my Instagram I reached 1K followers, so I really want to say thank you to all my Instagram followers. Um, and yeah, that's I promised face reveal, and I'm I'm doing it on YouTube. So there we go. Uh, so yeah. Uh, other than that, I just wanted to say a couple of things about Minecraft on the Lethal Squad channel. Um, I'm still doing my Minecraft series of. Uh, you know, Hunger Games and all these different things that are going on on my uh, on my personal channel. Uh, but my personal channel is not big at all. I've only got like 12 subscribers, uh, and Lethal Squad isn't even that big. It's got like 60, 75 subscribers, something like that. I don't know. Uh, so basically, uh, I do want to do a lot of Minecraft on Lethal Squad, um, but I really I don't want to just phase out my other channel completely. Uh, so I figured Lethal Squad will be kind of a let's play kind of Minecraft thing uh, so that we can have kind of cooperative stuff going on there. Um, and uh, then my personal channel will be everything from mini games to map reviews to parkour maps, anything uh, that I want to really upload there uh, as well as other games. So yeah, that's just a really brief overview of what's going on with the Minecraft stuff because I know a lot of people subscribe to uh, Lethal Squad just because of Clash of Clans, which still will be uh, more, there will be more Clash of Clans in Minecraft. Um, I think I'm going to do three or four videos a week. Um, if I do four, I'll do two of each a week, and if I do three, it'll be two Clash and one Minecraft. Um, and other than that, that's pretty much all I have to say. So uh, without any further ado, uh, I'll let you guys get into the video, and I hope you enjoy. Hey guys, it's Civil Does Legit here, and this is my first video uh, with a face cam. It's pretty fun, as you guys saw from the previous and everything, blah blah blah. Uh, I gotta apologize, my hair is this, this, I'm sporting this look called, uh, what's a haircut? Um, <laughs> I, I will get it cut eventually, but for right now I look like a three-year-old, so, uh, so yeah, that's, that's fun. Uh, so today's episode is a little bit different. Um, as you see, I got my, my, my show touch back. Um, I, I started a trend. Uh, it's, I, I uploaded, like, not uploaded, uh, the other day I, I shared in the chat, uh, raid, and I, I started to trend. Everybody was like, oh my gosh, you can actually share raids in Clash of Clans. So, uh, there's like seven or eight of them, and I thought we would take a look at them. I haven't seen anything of any of these, um, and some of them are lower level, some of them are higher level, so let me guys know in the comments, uh, if you guys just want me to show the higher level ones, or if you want all of them, uh, I really don't care. Uh, so it looks like we have, a. a killer Wi-Fi problem here. Uh, 67 percent, so he did actually win this raid. Uh, let's go ahead and get this sped up a little bit. So, let's watch. He drops his lightning spell, some wizards, uh, his level 2 wizards, actually. Um, and then just taking out part of the base. I'm waiting for the Wi-Fi to quit, uh, which I'm expecting it already has, because in a minute here, you're going to see he doesn't drop any other troops, uh, and his wizards just get wrecked on by all the defenses. So, like I said, guys, leave in the comments if you want to see lower level, higher level gameplay. Um, just because I don't really know, I tend to not find lower level raids as interesting as higher level raids. Uh, but I don't know about you guys. So I'm actually going to have to cut the video so you guys don't see the outcome of all these raids. Uh, so I'm just going to go grab the next one, and we'll be right back. Alright, so we're back, and this is actually a defense uh, from Super Bad Hammy, so we're going to go ahead and actually uh, hit play. I'm um, sorry, I just tried to move my, my face cam because there's like a tiny little section way up here where my fingers are blocking, uh, way up at the top there that just will not will not go away. Um, so this is looks like somebody attacked him with level 3 hog riders, uh, which is my current level of hog riders. Oh, phone call! <laughs> I'm sorry, I'll be right back. 
All right, I have to apologize for that. Uh, I left my phone right in uh, my room, aka my recording area. It'll probably ring again. Uh, so if it does, I'm, I'm sorry, get our YouTuber problems. Uh, I'll, I'll make sure to just keep that out of the next video. Uh, so anyway, let's continue with this raid. Uh, looks like it is by uh, Saimio si of Rompe Madres. Uh, <laughs> I don't understand what's wrong with the names in Clash of Clans, uh, but he is destroying this base. Uh, this looks like it is a edited version of the war base that I used to have. It's supposed to be anti-dragon, and uh, he did actually knock out all those hogs before the one star, but they did take out most of the defenses, so the wizards and the queen and the king are going to destroy this base um, really quickly here. So we'll watch them. He also has a couple of P.E.K.K.A.s, although they're only level 2, uh, just kind of wrecking everything. A couple of extra buildings in here, get the town hall, go for that dark elixir storage. Interestingly, his goblins actually survived till the end of the raid, which is pretty funny. Uh, so yeah, I, I really, there's like no hate on that attack because uh, it's it was a higher level attacker. It looks like probably a max town hall 8 attacked him, and uh, he it looks like he's either a new town hall 8 or a rush town hall 8. So, um, sorry, Super Rat Hammy, I know those are offensive words to hear, um, but yeah, so that was, uh, defense, and I think we're probably gonna only include about two or three more raids, um, just because they're longer than, uh, than the normal videos I do, so anyway, yeah, I will be right back with the next one. Alright, so this is one that I actually did, and uh, it was, like, one of my greatest raids just ever. Uh, so I'll go ahead and hit play here, and I already know what happens, obviously, because well, I did it, but uh, but you guys don't, so I'm going to show it to you. So this guy was a decently leveled up, I say decently, I use that very loosely, uh, he had kind of bad level wizard towers, um, but he was an alright Town Hall 8. Um, he did have good walls and everything, but a lot of his stuff was really underleveled. I don't know if that's just Town Hall 7 kind of stuff, um, or what happened there. Uh, but he had a lot of Dark Elixir to offer, uh, so I decided to go in on it. And I am actually terrible at farming Dark Elixir because everybody keeps their storage, uh, in the middle of their base. Nobody puts their Dark Elixir on one of their outer compartments. It's always in the center compartment. So it was kind of hard for me, and I suck at raiding, so... Uh, I did manage to take out his king, who was guarding the Dark Elixir, and he didn't have anything in his clan castle. But as you can see, my giants are almost dead, and I don't think they're going to be able to take out that mortar. Um, and my archers are all clumped up, just waiting for a splash hit. Here it comes, and it wipes out, like, all of my archers. But I did have a couple of them over here, who got wiped out. So, uh, at this point, my giants were going to take out that mortar, and I believe they get it. There it goes. And uh, I have three barbarians over here, one of which is working on a hopeless cause. I've got an archer working on that other hopeless cause, and I've got two over here that could be my saving grace. Uh, and other than that, there's nobody else really around the base except for these two barbarians here. And I've expended all of my troops and my king is dead. So I'm waiting for these two barbarians to get through here, and they do, all three of them retarget to the dark elixir storage and uh, they start going to town on it. Get one mortar hit, takes down about half health. Uh, second mortar hit coming in here, it takes him down to almost nothing. And uh, the Dark Elixir storage is almost gone and kills those two barbarians. We've got one barbarian left on the Dark Elixir storage. He gets hit once, he's at half health. And he's waiting for that second hit, he knows it's coming, gets hit twice, takes down the Dark Elixir storage, and starts going for the town hall, but unfortunately uh, he gets taken out, but our hopeless archer is out of reach of any defenses, so she is the last one on that gold storage, and, uh, really it's just a matter of when the time runs out here. Uh, 49%, this is the last building we need, it's pretty obvious what's going to happen. Uh, 16 seconds and not a lot of health left on that, uh, that gold storage. Did get the 50%, that was the greatest double clutch I have ever seen in my life. I got all the dark elixir, I got a decent amount of elixir, and just like absolutely no gold. But I did get the 50%, so I didn't drop any trophies, which is good, because if I drop any trophies, then I will be out of dark elixir territory. So, I'm going to go ahead and queue up the next raid, and I'll be right back. Alright, so this next raid is against uh, one of my Instagram buddies, T. Martin. 
uh, 12. His, his Instagram name is T Martin Clash. Uh, just go ahead and check him out on Instagram. Um, so he is doing a raid against a defender whose name I cannot see. Uh, I might actually just check the chat. Uh, looks like he's against We We Six. Um, I sound like an idiot trying to pronounce all these stupid names. So he's going in with a Go Wipe, um, and he's only got level one Pekka's and uh, and Golems, so uh, it could be a little bit dicey. Uh, but I just realized I let you guys see. Uh, <laughs> I let you guys see what the percentage was. I didn't actually see it, uh, but you did. So I'm gonna go ahead and speed this up for you guys. Um, and uh, you guys can just go ahead and see how it plays out since I'm stupid and let you all see uh, what happened. So he's got a couple of odd minions going in here as well just to take out some stuff. And it's actually working pretty well except for that air sweeper pushing that one poor defenseless minion. Uh, so let's see what's happening here down here with this P.E.K.K.A. is uh, about half, well going to be half health in just a second here. Uh, he's breaking through. He's going for the middle section, which I'm guessing is what he's aiming for, because there's a lot of Dark Elixir in there. Uh, all of his other troops are dead. It's really just that one P.E.K.K.A. who is about to die because of those merciless, merciless uh, Archer Towers and Cannons. So, he got 59%, 2 stars, uh, really good amount of, of Elixir, an okay amount of Dark Elixir, an okay amount of Gold. So, overall, pretty solid raid uh, against a decent Town Hall 8. Um, most of his stuff was maxed, except for his walls. So I'm going to go ahead and queue up the next raid. As always, this will be our last one, and I will get right back to you. Alright, so our last raid is again uh, by T Martin 12 and uh, he's going against Leon Warg or something like that. I checked the name beforehand, so I don't have to do it uh, in the video. And uh, he's going with another go wipe. Seems like the exact same. Uh, he's got his two minions, or however any, many minions he has uh, on that town hall. And then he's got his golems going in from uh, the top of the base and the right side of the base uh, into those open compartments. This is actually a pretty cool base layout. I kind of like how it looks. Uh, it looks like he's got his wall breakers trying to break in towards that mortar. Gonna get taken out by that Tesla, unfortunately, but they did actually get through the walls. He's got a buttload of wizards uh, going in on those compartments, uh, and I'm assuming he's gonna drop. Yep, there are his Pekkas and his King. Uh, that one spring trap taking out that wizard. So this actually looks like it could be a very promising raid. I didn't actually see. Um, I didn't actually see the percentage he got or anything beforehand. Uh, I'm pretty clueless about stuff like that. I don't really look at it. Uh, so it looks like he's getting most of the loot here. I'm um, going to push in towards the center to get that Dark Elixir. I'm guessing he's Dark Elixir rating, although I wouldn't use Golems if I were Dark Elixir rating. Um, so I'm wondering if he's going to drop that Poison spell. Um, that's kind of a stupid thing to wonder since there is actually uh, no Defending King because he has been defeated. So it looks like his troops are probably going to 3-star this base. I, I don't know actually what's going to happen. Uh, <laughs> so I'm going to speed it up here because my commentary is getting very boring, and uh, watch his P.E.K.K.A.s get killed by that one single level 4 Tesla, uh, and his remaining Golem just bash up against that wall. So in the end, he got 67% 2 star, uh, 296,000 gold and 217 elixir, or 217,000 elixir, and uh, 1k dark elixir. So that was a very, very good raid um, against Leon Targ, not Leon Warg. Um, so yeah, if you guys enjoyed this episode, uh, Make sure to just leave a thumbs up and uh, comment down in the comment section below. Also, if you're feeling extra special, you can maybe like and favorite the video. And I will see you guys all in the next video.